Hello, welcome to my channel, Vision Hustle Freedom. I appreciate you for watching this video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about late fees. And it sounds like a pretty boring topic, right? But it's something that plays a role in everybody's lives. So when we are children, uh, sometimes our parents would take us to the library, at least mine did, and we would check out a book and they would always say, oh, if you return this book late, you're going to have to pay a fee. So be sure to bring it back on time. Same thing with going to rent a movie at the store. Because when I was young, we had Blockbuster and Family Video. And same thing, you better return it on time. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay a late fee. And nobody wants to pay that. Well, as we get older, we realize that late fees are real. But one thing where you really pay for late fees, but it's not with your wallet, is in life when you procrastinate on things. And it's really important to try to get started early on your goals and your dreams. See, I've read a lot of books about setting goals and self-discipline, and I've mentioned this in another video before. But one thing that people get hung up on is, oh, I'm getting too old to try. You're not too old to try, first off. And it's never too late to learn or grow or get better or to be a version of yourself that you've always wanted to be because the time's going to pass anyways. The time's passing now, and I waited a few years to make a YouTube video only to realize when I got started, what was I waiting for? I don't know. I was procrastinating. Just because I make these videos doesn't mean that I don't procrastinate. I do. I'm guilty of it as well. I'm a human, but that's not an excuse. And we've got to try to limit the delayed start, the procrastinating, the waiting till the very end. Because the earlier we start, the earlier we build momentum and the better we feel. Before I was making YouTube videos, I had a weight on my shoulders knowing that I should be making these videos. And why do I want to make these videos? Well, because I know that there's people, maybe just like you, that just need somebody to listen to and to inspire them and motivate them. And there's people that I listen to that inspire and motivate me. And I, I'm very appreciative of them putting out content. So I want to be that person for other people. I want to tell you guys about a story about a huge late fee that I just got, that I have to pay and a late fee that I have to pay for the rest of my life. And it's pretty sad, honestly. So my cousin, um, his wife, Kimberly, is a friend that I've had for quite a while. And I call her my cousin. I don't know what you call your cousin's wife, but I call her my cousin. And me and her talked for a long time about self-discipline, self-development, training your mind, growth everything just very two very ambitious people very passionate about life and we've talked about those types of topics a lot and it's a, it's stuff that i can talk to with somebody all day i love to talk about goals i love to talk about growth i love to talk about perspective well for the last year or two i've been telling her that i want to start making YouTube videos. And if it's windy, I apologize. I don't know where this wind is coming from. But, so I would tell her, hey, I'm gonna get started on these videos really soon. And what did I do? I kept waiting. I don't know why, but I kept procrastinating and waiting and delaying for no reason other than the fact that I was lazy or didn't feel like it or something was stopping me. Maybe I was sabotaging myself. I don't know what it was. Anyways, 
She just turned 50 uh, this year, and I'm uh, quite a bit younger, which, anyways, she turned 50 this year, and I thought to myself, wow, you know, she's growing and, and getting better every day. She wrote her first book and stuff, and she did a presentation on it, and that was pretty cool, and that was pretty inspiring. I followed her through that journey, and she didn't say, oh, I'm too old to write a book. I'm too old to go to massage school and start trying to be a massage therapist. I'm too old to move across the country. She's done a lot of things lately that she's not too old for, so why are we too old? However, here's the point that I'm getting at. I told her, I swore up and down, that I was going to make YouTube videos, and guess what I did? I didn't make them for a while, but about a week ago, I finally made my first one, and it felt really good, and I got my YouTube channel, my logo up, everything, and first thing I did after I posted the video and did it was, who did I want to show? My cousin. Well, here's the crazy thing. I sent her those messages because we used to use, we would use WhatsApp to do voice messaging back and forth. And I sent her those messages and she never got to read them. She never got to read them. She passed away the same day that I made my first video. And she'll never get to see in this physical realm that I followed through on what I said I was going to do. And she never will get to see the videos that I make and the videos that I've already made. And the growth and evolution of myself and, and what I'm doing, not to mention the fact that she'll never get to see her children get turned into young adults. But she passed away, she got shot. And if I would have waited one day less, I set a goal for myself at the end of December last year, that I was going to start making YouTube videos this year. And I had, I waited 10 months and five days to do that. And if I would have waited 10 months and four days, my promise would have been fulfilled to a great friend and a great person. And she would have gotten to see, the, see my work. But instead, since I waited one day too long, and quite honestly, 10 months and six days too long, and not to mention the years before, I am paying a late fee for the rest of my life. And it's not about me feeling good because she saw what I did. It's just, it would have been amazing for her to see this work. And I want to rec I just want to remind you guys that we pay a late fee and we pay when we procrastinate. And it's not just because somebody passes away and they don't get to see our work. There's other ways. We, we lose time every single day. Time is finite. We only have so much time. And I wasted 10 months and five days, 10 months and four and a half days of this year hesitating to make YouTube videos. And now I've made six or seven straight on six or seven straight days all i had to do was start so train yourself to just start because there's costs to delaying so get started and start small baby steps be consistent with the baby steps and all of a sudden your steps will get bigger and bigger and you'll be jogging and you'll be running and you'll be sprinting towards your goals, towards your success, towards your fulfillment. And you will be proud and strong and confident because you know in your heart and your soul that you are working towards your goals and you're achieving goals and you're feeling good about yourself. So. That's what's on my mind today. I appreciate you watching. 
and listening to what I have to say. Please like and subscribe and drop a comment if you could. I would truly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.